okay so uh, in our previous session we discuss how to connect mulesoft api to the salesforce right so you have a uh, mulesoft api which want to communicate or we want to uh, which, which 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 want to communicate to salesforce or because maybe it want to um, create a record run a query or something like that right uh now in this session we are going to discuss how to connect how to connect salesforce to the mule api right and we will have this kind of requirement uh, where uh, uh, where where like we need to connect our salesforce right salesforce to mule right because say suppose i mean um, salesforce needs some data that is stored uh, in some third party application or in uh, some external application right so in that case uh, salesforce has to uh, connect to mulesoft right like uh, it may have to invoke a uh, api uh, which is deployed on the mule right this api will further connect to the external system or the internal system right and get the data and then massage it or translate it in a specific format that mule need and then provide that data to the mule right so we will have this kind of scenario so in this session we are going to discuss how to connect the salesforce uh, to the mule api right uh, so in this session we will see how a uh, simple uh, communication can be performed from the salesforce to mule using the http without any uh, authentication or authorization in the next uh, session we will see how to secure that api using the or 2.0 right and we will use the same setup that we discuss when uh, we discuss or 2.0 uh, right so we will have octa octa right so sf and the mule will connect to octa for the authentication and authorization right so this guy uh, will connect to uh, octa and get the access token and before it call to the mule api right so it will first get the access access token and then it will call the mule api so actually it will call the mule proxy right and then mule proxy will uh, validate that uh, access token jot token right before it let the uh, before it uh, uh, allow um, that particular request to access the api but uh, that is uh, that we will discuss in the next session so uh, let's leave it uh, for that uh, for now right so let's understand how sf can invoke api in the mule without any security right so to understand that uh, first we have to um, um, so uh, i mean uh, I hope you remember the previous sessions, right? Where we uh, developed a API cal or calculator API in the uh, MuleSoft, right? And then we made make it secure using the auth two dot zero, right? So let me just show you that uh, what API I have. Right, which I'm going to invoke from the Salesforce. So this is my uh, Mule Anypoint platform. And if I go to my runtime manager, okay, so here's my calculator API. I hope you remember this, right? And this is the URL to access this API if I do not want to perform any uh, authentication or authorization, right? so let me let's invoke this once and see how it works yep here it is right so this is the url 
that I just now copied, right? And this is the uh, endpoint to um, to call the add functionality in, in, in the API, which is deployed on any point platform, right? So I will, uh, you know, provide two parameters and it will calculate the addition of these two numbers. So, right, so here is the value. So nine, if I say five, right? Um, so 10 so if you see this is HTTPS no security right and the and I have already explained this why it is like this because I'm directly hitting my API right and this API is not secure right if I will use the proxy then I have to get the access token from the Okta before calling this API right so first let's understand how we can call a simple API from the Salesforce uh, now let's go to uh, go to salesforce login.salesforce.com right and okay uh, next we are going to open the setup and developer console, right? Developer console, we need this to, right? We need this to create the Apex class, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a Apex class in Salesforce and that Apex class will call my mule api okay and this is how we are going to achieve this integration right and in in in, um, in order to do, do that we will see a few more things as well right but let's start, uh, write the class first okay so this is the name of class Uh, let's write a method uh, public st static void call call mule api right and then this next so http so these are the methods and classes uh, from the salesforce apex class and uh, this this is basically we have to this is a syntax right of uh, 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 salesforce uh to to call a api to call a call to call any uh, http url right so first you have to create http object right and we use that as http object to initiate the request but before the uh, uh, we invoke or initiate the request we have to create the uh, request and response object and in the request object we will we are going to set everything that we want to go uh in the http request and then in http response i will get everything uh, whatever is written from the server okay so http request equal to new http http request okay http response response okay. response all right then request dot set endpoint so my endpoint will be 
this, right? Okay, and as usual, because of Java, I always use double colon for the string. Okay, so this is uh, set the endpoint and that request dot set method and the method is post request dot okay uh, that's it for this guy right now next we need to create a map This is going to be body equal to new map. All right. String. String. And then body dot. So same, same thing as we do it in Java x the value is anything so I suppose 5 or now fancy whatsapp audio one second Okay, so let's add one more in. Yes. Okay, so this is our um, what do we call uh, JSON that we're going to send to our API, right? But this is in the map form uh, in, in in the uh, map, uh, right? Now I'm going to convert this into um, uh, JSON data, All right? So serialize, serialize, and this give me the body a string json string okay next we are going to do uh, okay next request dot set set body and it will be set request dot set header and the header will be oh. and value right so I will copy the header from from my postman uh, type okay and 
then we are good to go http uh, send and my request is request object is this right and this will return me the http response response and next i'm going to say response dot dot get body right and i'm just going to print this right so we'll just validate if uh salesforce is able to call the api right and get the result from the mule so to validate that i will print this okay yep so this good this good mm, request response header body serialize this should looks good okay let's save this done i'm going to run this call mule api execute okay so this is my debug log which is just now created let's see open and see if that call is successful or not um debug yeah so we can see the result so this value is coming from the mule right so if you see this is the pattern that we have used in the api so add added value equals to the actual value right so which means we are able to call we are able to call the mule api from the salesforce using this apex class right now let's look at one more thing uh and and uh, i mean we can further validate the same this thing uh, by by going into the uh, uh mule, mule, mule log right so if you remember this is uh, this is uh i mean the comment that i i added in the log right inside the ad flow then this it, it is called just now yeah 12 37 okay now let's go to go to developer console and do one more thing right uh what we are going to do is uh let's create named credential named credential so we need this uh to implement the auth Right, so I'm just not uh, creating it. Right, so this is let's say suppose calculator. Calculator mule API. Name is good. URL. Uh, URL will be let's copy from the. console so there's going to be this okay are you and certificate no anonymous and no authentication right so so for now this 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 should work right so Take this label, uh, I mean the name. Okay, go to developer console and say call out colon that name. Okay. 
something like this right so actually this is the way i mean uh, we can we can um, parameterize or externalize our urls right and the same name credential is used for the r2.0 authentication right and i mean that is the place where uh, we are going to uh, configure our or 2.0 detail that we'll discuss in the next session right so in this session we are just uh, configuring this uh, one more uh, component okay so this guy this guy this this looks good uh, say control s Debug. Let's see if we still can call this API or not. Execute. Okay, so here it is. So we are still able to call. So if we are still able to call, it means um, uh, it means our name credential configuration is uh, is also working, right? So this is the way to call the name credentials, Salesforce name credential uh, in in the in the Apex class, right? So I think uh, this is good enough. Uh, and in the next session, we are going to imp uh, integrate Salesforce with the Okta for the authentication, right? Um, okay.